Okay, y'all. So, I cannot tell you the last time I wrote a song. But, when I tell you God has been so good to me lately. And seeing my prayers that I've been praying for years in the past month. Uh, prayers I had for a long time and then recently started praying again and like God just really answering several of my prayers and I'm just really thankful like you know I love God and I've been serving God but when you see specific very specific prayers being answered is just I don't know it put a song in my heart so I wrote a song just now within the last 15 minutes and so um, if I make a mistake, y'all gave me some grace, but, um, um, I hope this song ministers to someone and, um, yeah, so I'm gonna start it. It's called So Thankful. <clears throat> Give me some grace on my voice too. Okay. So that is not exactly the order it went in, but my voice was cutting out. But anyways, I hope that song ministered to someone because I tell you what, like the things that God has brought me through in my life. And I'm not saying I had the worst life, but literally like 
God has heard the cries of my heart and he is answering my prayers. And, you know, I want to tell y'all something like God (laughs) is so real in my life. Like there's nothing I could ever say or do to convince myself. I would be lying to myself to say that he's not real because he's done so much to prove I have not only heard God speak to me, but I have felt God embrace me and hold me whenever I was broken. I physically was embraced by God. And, you know, there was a time where I felt lifeless and worthless. And God came to my rescue and gave me purpose. Like, I felt like I had no purpose. You know, I felt like I was worthless. I wasn't good enough. And, um, you know, just. Don't give up. Whoever's watching this, I just want to tell you, don't give up. Like, lean on God and and you can break through the darkness around you, okay? Like, if you are leaning on God and you, like, trust in God and you surrender to God, there's, you might be going through a dark place, okay? I'm not saying you won't ever go through dark places, okay? But God will illuminate your path, okay? Like, if you stay plugged into God then you might be going through some dark times, but God is going to, there's going to be some light and God's going to show you the way out of that. If we, you know, if you don't complain, you know, and remain, but, um, you know, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them and he delivers them of all their troubles. So cry out to God, live a righteous life. First of all, (laughs) cry out to God and God will deliver you out of your situation. Okay. God can deliver you out of whatever situation you're in. If you totally trust in him look how he parted the red sea i mean come on now you think these people were like really trusting god (laughs) like oh yeah this sea's gonna just open up (laughs) but it did and god saved them you know and so i really hope um that those of y'all watching that if you haven't been doing what you need to do in your relationship with god i really pray that you would turn to him no matter what you did You know, no matter how much you messed up, God does not care how much you messed up. He cares of the decision that you make right now to surrender to him and turn from your wicked ways. Turn, turn. Okay, you going this way? Turn this way. Okay, don't look back. Keep turning and start running towards God. Okay, you know, um, if you turn around and start going in a different direction, God's going to start blessing you. Okay, but you... You know, I'm not saying you can't still be walking in bad seed, you know, because every day is a, is a day to plant new seeds. So, you know, maybe you messed up today. Maybe you've been messing up for the last 10 years. Maybe you've been messing up for the last 50 years. Change the course by planting new seeds. You reap what you sow. So if you start planting new good seeds into your life, you're going to start reaping a good a good life. So if, if, if everything's falling and crumbling around you, you might have been planting some bad seeds. Just repent and ask God to show you, you know, um, how to let him take over in your life and you stop trying to be the pilot because God ultimately knows what is best for us. We do not know what is best for ourselves and man left to himself. We're going to sin. We're going to do the wrong things. You know, we were not, you know, uh, called to be, uh, alone and to isolate ourselves. So there's somebody on this video, you've been isolating yourself and it's time to come out of that. Okay. God does not want you to be isolated. He wants you to be, you know, and and some people might have hurt you. Some people in church might have hurt you. Um, You know, you might have you might have been hurt by people that's not in church, you know, but you just don't trust people. But God is saying it's time to come out of that. It's it's time to trust God and 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 trust that God can bring the right people in your path that are not going to hurt you. Okay, so I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And um Jesus is alive, people. Like, seriously, he is alive. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Y'all be blessed. Bye.